as everybody's talking about, I usually talk about art and film a bit before we start, but as everybody's talking about money and the crisis and uh, we're all in trouble, I thought I'd talk to you about money and film. <laughs> um, the Pythons had made a spin-off film called and now for something completely different, which was just their show, so we couldn't raise any money. And we in fact got, uh, in the end, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin Island Records to put the money up for Holy Grail, and they got, we raised £165,000. And we went up in Scotland try, try to shoot a feature film, you know, in medieval film. And one of the things they had in the original script were horses. And of course, uh, that went out of the dray. I mean, you can't handle horses uh, with no budget, you know, and uh, they can't ride anyway. And a horse, a horse never does what you want it to do. You put a cross on the ground and an actor goes to the cross. The horse never does. <laughs> So we had to find a method of, uh, of avoiding the horses. <laughs> and it's become a classic sort of thing, the, um, the coconuts. We were up in, if you ever get the DVD of, um, by the way, that's Kidwelly Castle, I think. Uh, this is Hampstead Heath, which I shot just with the t my brother and him. Kidwelly we shot, that's Hampstead Heath. And this is Scotland, where we actually shot most of it. So you see, we were just grabbing bits. Me and my brother went down to shoot the castle at Cadwelly. They look at something, we went and shot the castle. Um, but we were up in Dune doing, for the DVD, we went round the locations, uh, a new release of the DVD. And um, they, had, they were selling, in Dune Castle, where we filmed it, they were selling the script of the film, and Terry Jones says, Oh, I must buy it, it'll be useful. And he says, I can't believe I'm up in Dune Castle 20 years later buying my own script. <laughs> and then he says, and then the guy came from the counter, he says, oh, I've got these. And he had two halves of coconuts. So we're going, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't sell those. He said, no, no, people come up and they want to film themselves clipping along, you know. And while we were filming there, he says, look, there's a couple of people from British Columbia that come up, come specially to see, and they, the girl was clipping up and down with the couple of the guy filming them. And then this whole sketch, the opening sketch was about where the... And this is my trusty servant, Patsy. We have ridden the length and breadth of the land in search of knights who will join me in my court at Camelot. So that, there's a whole sketch at the front. It's all because of, you know, it's a budgetary consideration. And uh, there were things like this. Camelot. 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 It's only a model. <laughs> Terry, Terry Gilliam, it was supposed to look good, but it looked so bad that they had to put that gag in. <laughs> and Terry Gilliam put the gag in. You know. Knights, I bid you welcome to your new home. And now, you know, Spamalot is a spin-off. Uh, I mean, this thing that we did for a couple of, you know, we actually went over budget and ended up with 200,000. And this thing is now sort of like spreading the Spamalot order. And there's a pinball machine in my local, Holy Grail pinball machine. <laughs> and what a, and um, I get royalties from it. Uh, I mean, it averages about 2,000 pounds a month comes in, you know, from Holy Grail, which was years ago, this thing that just didn't, you know, we never thought much about it. You know. It's got a life though, of its own. The sound, using sound again, if you, if you look in Holy Grail, there's this music. That's the costume designer, that's the prop maker. This is Hampstead Heath. It's the wedding castle. So listen to the music. This guy, this guy was a guy who was on holiday in Scotland. <laughs> you know, come and join, you know. And he does these stunts. All the stuntmen would never do it in a million years would do that stunt. You know, you go, oh no, I need cushions, I need this, and not do it in one and fall on a barrel. <laughs> Now here's Brazil, all the guys are watching a cowboy film. I had the music in the cutting room so I just put the same music on. And it fits great for a cowboy film and a, and a, a medieval film for some reason. Thank you.